Oh yeah. Right, this is a quick supplementary video I've just done on top of the one I've just done on choice I made and how I socialise. Now this one is particular to someone on the autistic spectrum, of which I am one of them. Now, so on the autistic spectrum, so how I choose to socialise is even more important. Is it? How I choose to socialise is a very, very, very big decision for me. Now, as I said in the previous video, schools are very much based on what I call the approval seeker mode. And this is where the teacher is the motivator and the student has to meet with the approval of the teacher. Now when you're on the autistic spectrum, as I found out, and not dodgy drawing here or zoom in, <laughs> my brain, <laughs> dodgy zoom in, my brain is wired differently to the teacher. So that what that does is that physical difference between the way the brains are functioning makes it nigh on impossible for me to win the approval of the teacher. Oh, that was and the harder I try, the more I get rejected, the more my self-esteem plummets. Okay? Equally, I've often met very highly motivated teachers who are desperate to help me and they try their hardest to motivate me. But the problem is, their brain is quite different to mine. So no matter how hard they try, they can't motivate me. And then they feel disrespected and demotivated and their self-esteem goes down. Okay? So socialising in this self-approval mode, when I'm on the autistic spectrum, with people, or well, in fact with anybody, is really tricky. It is fraught with danger. Yeah, and caused me no harm good. In fact, the only reason I survived it when I was a kid was because I was very good at sport. And the teachers learned to leave me alone. They didn't try and motivate me, they just left me alone. And I didn't try and seek their approval, and we just sort of ended through as an impasse without either one of us feeling happy nor sad. So what I found as I've got older is socialising in the self-motivate mode is much, 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 much better for me. Because socialising self-motivation mode is about developing myself, it's about respecting myself, understanding myself. And of course I stand a much better chance of doing that because my brain's wired the way my brain's wired. <laughs> and I know myself better than anybody else. So if I socialise with myself and how I, my brain thinks as my grounding, as my source, so that when I interact with someone, what I'm actually doing is learning from them to develop myself. That's my goal when I socialise. And I found that much easier to make friends with, much easier to feel connected and loved and happy and laugh a lot if I socialise in self-motivate mode. And I don't do approval seeking mode. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, yeah. Anyway, have a great day. And I'll see you all soon. Enjoy the sun. <laughs>